Hey Thickies! Welcome back to Thick Girls Guide, your official guide for all things fashion, lifestyle, and traveling. And in today's video, we've got part two of my closet declutter. So super excited to finish this up and have so much more room and just less crap. So without further ado, let's dive in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's dive in. Okay, so like I said, this is part two where we will be tackling my closet in my office. It's a pretty big closet. And then the little kind of half closet that is like right when I come in my front door, it's right straight ahead. We will tackle both of those today. Again, I'm aiming to get rid of about 33%, about a third of my wardrobe, um, just in general, just to like really kind of get it down to a manageable size where I'm actually wearing these pieces, things I actually truly love, getting kind of the, the stuff I never wear out of there and it's just taking up space and collecting dust. And I think someone else could definitely use it and get more use out of it. The good things that are in good shape, I am going to put on Poshmark. Again, if you're interested, the link will be down below so you guys can pick it up if you'd like. Um, the rest of it I will be donating and or if it's really ratty and gross, then I'm just going to throw it away. Let's dive in to part two in the office and extra little closet. This is my second closet in my extra bedroom. So as you can see, like she is pretty stuffed. We'll get to that side in a minute. But definitely need to go through this because there's a lot of things in here that I'm no longer wearing. Also, got a bunch of junk up here I need to deal with. This is the dress area. Again, bunch of junk up there I have to deal with. So overall, I think cleaning out a lot of this, I'm going to try and downsize it by at least a third will definitely help. Okay, so this is my hall closet. So I have like jackets in here as well. And then I've got like this little cart thing with my like laundry detergent and stuff on it. This contraption, these are amazing. This is from the container store. So they are pricey, but they are so worth it. Like just so well made, such high quality. Um, I mean, I will see if I can link it below somehow, but then I've just got a bunch of random crap up there. So we're definitely going to be clearing out this closet, getting rid of some stuff, reorganizing, so it is more functional. Okay, so today is part two of, or day two, I should say as well, of my closet declutter. And this is my second bedroom in my apartment. This is my office where I work from home. But also this whole closet is packed, both top and bottom. So I'm gonna start with just clothing and then later I'll reorganize the top part, um, which probably won't be included in this video. So just the, just the clothing that we're gonna be going through. So yeah, let's dive into it. Okay, so what I have in this closet, I have um, all my dresses, I have skirts, I think I have like a pair of shorts here randomly. Um, then I have some hoodies down at the end and I think blazers. Again, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of this closet, I think. Um, so we are going to start with the dresses first.
for the dresses, I had 51 dresses. That's a lot. Uh, I kept 34, got rid of 17. And then for rompers, I had nine, decluttered three, so I have six remaining. And then I just kind of went through and reorganized because all the skirts and the pants and the shorts, they were all just kind of mixed in here. So I kind of separated them into the categories. And so let's go through those now, starting with shorts. We've got kind of trouser type pants. I've only got like four of them, so it's not that big. But I've got a ton of different sweaters and over pieces. I also have a bunch of hoodies and then a bunch of jackets and then like I said, blazers as well. So let's start going through this side. So out of the trousers, I already know I'm gonna keep two out of the four. So. This pair, while beautiful, and this brown pair, I just never reach for them, even for styling purposes, and I think it's time to get rid of them. Okay, so I'm keeping a green olive pant, which I love those, are very comfortable, and then a black kind of trouser. Okay, so these are, this is the start of the sweaters. <laughs> also in my little half closet, I have a boatload more like long line cardigans. So they are one of my favorite things. Um, we are gonna try and get rid of quite a bit of these and see if there's any that I can kind of ditch here. jackets. I feel like I got rid of a decent amount for me. Um, jackets are probably my favorite thing, but I think I got rid of several again. I'll have to count them up here. The next thing is blazers are the last thing here. So let me go through those. Okay. So for blazers, I'm only getting rid of two. Um, and I have one, two out of nine not too bad, but at the same time, blazers never go out of style, ever. Um, I've got, I kept my solid black one, solid white one, and then I've got a navy blue kind of plaid one here that's freaking adorable, and kind of a tweed one from Lane Bryant, which is adorable. One that's a pop of color, floral print one, and another black and white print one that's a little fun. So I like, I used to wear blazers damn near every day. Um, so this has actually dwindled quite a bit from where it was. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's do the final totals here and see how much I got rid of. Also, I am going through and switching out my old plastic hangers for my cute little velvet ones. So eventually all the hangers will be the velvet ones. Um, so once I sell some of that stuff on Poshmark, that'll free up a bunch of the velvet hangers um, and then I'll get rid of the, all these plasticky ones. And the cutest hangers I've ever seen in my life, again, I talked about these in my last video, 
I will link these down below. So these are from Amazon. They are like a pink uh, velvet hanger with the rose gold metal part. Adorable. So in this closet, I only decluttered four items. Okay, these are my, again, my big kind of heavier jackets here. And then this one, long line cardigans, leather jackets. So yeah, I only got rid of like four things out of this one. So from the second closet, I got rid of one kind of jacket, this leather or pleather jacket from Torrid. While so stinking cute is so old that it is like peeling and whatnot. So it's time for her to go. Though this is probably my absolute favorite jacket that Torrid ever, ever, ever made. Um, and then I got rid of two long line cardigans here that very cute. I just never wear. And I have, obviously you saw quite a few that I prefer over these. All right, guys. So that was part two of my closet declutter. Again, I think I did pretty well. Um, I think we came pretty close to that 33%. I will put the official percentage up here as I calculate it. Um, but that was... Yeah, going through all the dresses, the trousers, skirts, and some old blazers that I had. And then the hardest part was the jackets. Again, I love, love, love jackets in general, and especially leather jackets or pleather, you know, because some of them are fake. But yeah, some of them broke my heart because it's just that pleather. Once it gets a certain age, it just peels and it just falls apart and it's awful. And you can't really sell it because nobody wants to buy that thing. And I just, I feel horrible throwing it away, but there's no way to fix it, you know? So like that leather jacket that with all the zippers, oh, oh my God, that's like one of my favorite jackets of all time. Definitely got some use out of it, but it is peeling and nasty and it's, she's got to go. She's got to go, you know? So that was sad, but I think I've really narrowed it down to my tried and true favorites, things I will actually get use out of. Again, rehoming the good stuff so that hopefully someone else can get much more use out of it than I will. So thank you for tuning in for the Closet Declutter. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.